uh, try something different today. If you've um, watched any of my videos before, you'll notice that this time I'm talking. So, as part of my uh, goal of expanding my channel in 2018, um, the idea is to try and interact with uh, you, my audience, a bit more. If you guys dictate to me what you guys want to see on the channel, and I'll try and accommodate it for you. So, to give you an idea, today I'm uh, currently in our JD 6 Series tractor. Um, I'm currently slashing one of our pasture fields using a superior pasture topper. I don't know if you can see that at the moment. Sorry about the bumpy and vibration. Over Christmas we had a fair bit of rain in this field and the um, grass has grown to the point where the, uh, the cattle tend to eat it a bit slowly. So the idea to try and cut all the tops off it while it's at this seeding stage. After a bit more rain, hopefully grow back, get a bit thicker again. Maybe if the um, rain doesn't come, we'll hit it with the irrigator. So I've just kicked up the revs a bit now, aiming at about 2,000 RPM. I've hit some uh, thicker grass here, and uh, I want to try and cut it as cleanly as possible. I'm not lucky enough to have auto drive, auto steer in this model tractor. So I'm doing all the hard work myself. But the only thing I need to watch out for in this paddock is, as I mentioned, irrigation. We've got a couple of hydrants sitting in the lower grass. I know where they are, roughly. As I get closer to them, I try and make sure I give them a wide berth, and then I come back and clean them up after the grass around the hydrant, not the hydrant itself, obviously. Anyone wondering what a pasture topper is? Put simply, it's essentially a twin blade slasher with an open back. The idea behind it is the two blades spin and crisscross each other as they spin, and the grass that gets cut underneath it, instead of coming out on one particular side of the slasher, is common in single bladed slashes. With the pasture topper, the grass comes out sort of in a fan. As you can see, it just sort of all spits out the back in one solid go, which helps mulch the grass underneath it as the um, cut grass on top deteriorates. I found the most efficient way of cutting farms like this is to basically go parallel with the fence line. What I try to do is keep cutting straight and when I get to the point where I can't make the turns anymore, I swing out wide over all the grass that I've already cut in a sort of semicircle and then pick up the line on the other side and start again. Now this works pretty good on, you know, semi-square farms. On triangular shapes, well, you pretty much end up having to come back and cut something again anyway. So, what can you do? I found to cut these sorts of farms with the odd angles is to ensure that uh, your leading edge tyre, obviously in this case my front right, is uh, follows the line of the corner. So when I go around the corner, I make sure that the leading edge follows the uncut grass in a you know nice clean circle or quarter circle. And um, that way I can ensure that I don't end up with all these odd shapes, sort of, you know, teardrop type corners where you've got to turn right and then turn left. Whereas this way I can sort of just turn a nice even left bank and then keep cutting evenly. So 
I just remembered that I had to swap an irrigator around and uh, turn it on before it gets dark. So I've just swapped to a, another tractor that doesn't have anything on the back of it. We use um, traveler irrigators, so we need a PTO to wind up the hose. So I'm currently in a um, little JD5 series now. It's a bit noisy because obviously it isn't as well insulated as the big six series, but still not a bad little tractor. So I'm gonna head over and um, find this irrigator. So this particular irrigator has a uh, reduction gear in it, which makes it really, really slow to wind up. It takes ages. And I did break the um, cardinal rule while I was dragging this irrigator into position, and that is I forgot to take the D-shackle off the end of the chain. We use the D-shackle to anchor it. Even though I thought I did the bolt up nice and tight, it obviously vibrated off and now it's lost in the long grass and I'm gonna go back and find another one somewhere. Yay me. I got very lucky here and ended up finding the uh, bolt sitting on the only pile of dirt in a very green field. Awesome. So that's the irrigator going. I got about two thirds of the way through slashing that pasture farm. Um, it's probably about 6.30 now. Not too much daylight left. I'm gonna call it a day and head on in. I hope you found uh, this video entertaining. If you um, enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. And uh, if you want something to talk about, comment below. Cheers.